you guessed it, it's that time of the week. Your Music Live is on the air. Your Music, Your Music, Your Music Live. Yo, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to Your Music Live here on Studio Live today, brought to you by our good friends at DistroKid. Yeah, if you're an independent creator and you want to get your music onto Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, iCloud, and all the places, all you need to do is go to distrokid.com slash VIP slash Pete Johns. And that's my name. And this is our show. Every week we gather together and for two hours we play the best, the greatest independent music online. And uh, we're going to share it all with you right Right here, right now. Without any further ado, let's jump in and listen to our first track. This is uh, my friend Matt from up in Queensland. He's better known as Maffy's Garden. And he's got a new tune called The Boat Song. Let's take a listen to it live on Your Music Live. Mavi's Garden with the boat song, kicking things off in a big bad way here on Your Music Live. And yes, TGIF or TGIS doesn't have the same ring to it, but it is Friday. It's no, it's Saturday (laughs) here in uh, Australia in uh, Adelaide, South Australia, which is where I am sitting right now. But wherever you are sitting, I hope you got yourself a beverage, I hope you're strapped in, and I hope you're ready for another two hours of epic music here on Your Music Live. Uh, Welcome to everyone who is here. There's too many of you to say hello to individually, but let's just say g'day, and I hope you're doing well. And uh, yeah, if you've got any comments as we go through, please throw them in the chat here. As you can see, we play the tune, we give it a spin for about a minute, and then uh, I throw up, throw up. I put up any of the comments that you may have along the way, such as uh, this one here from uh, Mr. Scott Mitchell. And Scott says, hello again, Pete. Here is another track for you to consider. All recorded in GB and released via DK. That's them, Distro Kid, our wonderful sponsors. Uh, This one took a while to complete one of those songs that had constant interruptions and tech problems. Haven't we all been there with some constant interruptions and tech problems in the past? But we're going to give this one a spin. Uh, This is our man, Scott Mitchell, with a little ditty called Further Away and we're going to play it live on Your Music Live.
That's a rockin' way to start. We're going back in time. The first tune from uh, from Matthew there was a bit 90s rock. That one was all together 80s hair rock. <laughs> hair rock-tastic, as Al says. Agree. Very cool. Very nicely done. Yeah, a lot of Scorpion mixed with Bon Jovi. Yeah, I, I agree. Definitely, definitely in that ballpark. Uh, rock and roll. Uh, welcome again. Uh, welcome to Your Music Live. Uh, this is our weekly show where we showcase the best in independent music and uh, we have had a bit of a rock and start and we're going to continue on with the uh, the rock but we're going to go, we're going to stay around that sort of 80s style because our man Gerard Ice Fox, is there an Ice Fox in the house, uh, produces some pretty epic tunes and loves to show off and when I say show off I mean demonstrate his epic uh, drum kit setup. If you've never seen if you've never seen Ice Fox and uh, playing along, then uh, this is going to be a treat for you. Uh, he says, These first takes of my track about the quest, Ice Fox had to go to arrive at this desired destination, the local pub in Endhoven, the Netherlands. So there you go. We go around the world here on Your Music Live, and this is no exception. This is Ice Fox with a CQ alternate take. Let's get some drums in our lives here on Your Music Live. I agree with statistic here. Yeah, it's hard to look away, isn't it, when you're just watching Gerard do his thing on the drums. I'm just like, how do you know which ones to hit? I struggle with six strings. I wouldn't know what ones to hit at what point in time. But yes, I agree. Drumtastic indeed. Love it. Uh, great stuff there. And uh, if you are booing me right now because I keep turning down these epic tunes... Don't worry, because I do you a solid. What I do is, as we go through the show, I uh, paste a link in the description, the description of this very show, and uh, if you want to listen to the whole thing, guess what? You can go and listen to the whole thing. I'm not going to stop you. No one's going to stop you. In fact, I'm going to condone and support your actions by listening to the cool artists that share their music here. Cool artists, including our friend Tremor Bear. Yes, bear's back. Get those bear emojis ready. The bear is back. He said, I submitted this track for a contest. The college where I work asked for common folk <laughs> to submit a song for the Alumni Foundation advertisement or advertisement, as people say in English. Uh, let's see what happens. Well, let's see what happens when we give this one a spin. It's shared on Slap, so you know that's cool. Yeah, Slaps is DistroKid's online music sharing platform. If you don't know what it is, go to slaps.com. It is cool. And uh, we're going to play this one now. This is uh, from Tremor Bear. It is called Living Water. And we're going to spin it live right here, right now on your music live.
Hey, uh, if you weren't wide awake and tapping your toes and bopping your head already, guess what? You sure are now. Yes, very cool. A definite groove, butt shaken, desk shaken. Yeah, the desk, my desk is shaken here because I'm getting down into the groove. Uh, yeah, it makes me want to shadow box and go for a run. Settle down, Greg. Let's not go too far here. That's that's exercise. We don't know about that. Uh, but yeah, the vibey guitar in the back was very, very cool. <laughs> A bit, a bit daft punk as well, absolutely. And yeah, something that uh, again, when you don't when you don't hear the drums poking out, yeah, you, you, it's pretty clear that the drum production is on point, and it definitely was there as well. Very well done. The bear is back, and he's not happy. No, I'm sure he's happy. Um, I don't know where I got that. It's all that uh, yeah, the the old movie thing of they're back and they're not happy. Uh, let's continue on here. Uh, this is from uh, Abu Habib, and they say it's about pride, being happy to be lost, cluelessness, and how ridiculous that is. Uh, hands up, who's sometimes lost and clueless? Right here. Yep, I hear you. I hear you, and I feel you. Uh, let's jump in and take a listen to this tune, Abu Abu Habib with low cost rent here on your music live. Let's do it. Abu Habib with a very cool track there. Yeah, that's one I'll be coming back to. Good stuff indeed uh, from Abu Habib there. Low cost rent. Love the combination. I love a song where you can have a nice a sort of rap, a nice flow, but then you've got the contrast of sort of a beautiful melody coming through. And good use of auto-tune there, like not overdone, not overcooked. So easy to overcook stuff like that in my personal opinion. Very good stuff. Uh, now, I don't think we could contrast any more by going from Abu Habib to Happy Ron, but we're going to do it. We're going to give it a crack. We're going to give it a red hot grow. Is there a Happy Ron in the house? Uh, happy Ron. Uh, hello? Happy Ron. Uh, we're going to play a Happy Ron tune. Uh, it is called You Still Sing To Me, and, and Ron says, a Happy Ron autobiographical type song that has little to do with his life story. They're the best kind of autobiographies I've heard that are nothing about you. <laughs> <laughs> now, SoundCloud's gotten excited here and decided to start playing because, of course, it has. So we're just going to come back here to the start. We're going to cue this one up. This is the one, the only, Happy Ron with You Still Sing To Me here on Your Music Live. When I was young, you sang in our red Chevy car. I loved your voice and your Martin guitar I left for Nashville to sing my songs But time has passed and now you're gone I wasn't ready when the Lord took you to the stars But I still hear your beautiful lullaby It sounds like never having to say goodbye you still sing to me You still sing to me So now I tell my 
my children your tail We sing honky tonk angel and happy trail You taught us all that song can bring How it connects us to everything Your music lifts us up, it never Happy Ron delivering on what he says there. Yes, Mark always says, Mark says, Happy Ron always brings a smile to my face. Always meaningful and uh, yeah, terrific. As always, from our man, Happy Ron, always making you happy. Although sometimes he has some some songs that hits you well and true in the feels. But uh, that was a cracker, Ron. Well done. Keep sharing, keep supporting, and uh, yeah, just keep nurturing the talent that we have in this community because I know every week I'm blown away and every week I'm like, Pete, you need to stop being so surprised at how much talent there is in this community because you folks bring it every single week. And yes, I am still about four weeks behind. So if you're new to the show, you're new to the channel, uh, you can submit your song. There's a a post linked in the description. It's in the comments and in the chat here. It's everywhere. And uh, you can just go to studiolivetoday.com slash YML, submit your song. I listen to them. I'm getting through them. There's a big backlog at the moment. I'm getting through them though. And then we will eventually play them. But yeah, you need to be patient. Some of them are even four and five weeks now. We're, We're slowly slipping out just because there's so much great quality music. And I want to get to as much it as I can. So what you're going to say now is, Pete, then get on with it, my friend. And I will. So this is uh, this is a tune from God Sized and Growing. And uh, it is called Seasoned Veterans. And they say about this, this song was recorded using an iPad Air 4 pa- uh, paired with an iRig Pro Duo. The song is written about a hypothetical where my wife is kidnapped. We've played this. We've played this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We've. I, I, and as I bring this up, I remember that. We played this last week. So uh, go back to last week's show if you want to hear that one. I've just forgotten to tick it off because I do that sometimes. So instead, we'll play this tune. It is from uh, 0027 Skips. Okay, that's a cool name. And they say, this is mostly freestyle because I suck at writing. Yep, right here. Uh, Beat was made by a friend. I do like that name, actually. It's called 44M and it's by 0027 Skips. We've got all sorts of numbers and things going on here. So uh, let's turn this one up, shall we? And uh, give it a spin. This is uh, 0027 Skips here on Your Music Live. You have no idea what you have done. done there i do like that i like that mix of kind of the lo-fi with the sample there and then back in the bass i agree the bass drone very good and yeah the freestyle was indeed a perfect fit sometimes you don't need to sit down and write out and and be pedantic like i often am with my lyrics sometimes you just uh you just go there you just go there and you just get it done very cool yeah almost like a peter gabriel track yeah it, it, it went it went places it went all over the shop uh speaking of all over the shop i'm bad at segways but uh but cronk song uh <laughs> cronk song is our friend mark lovell and uh i, I played a, a newer song from him last week and then i realized that i've got one from like five weeks ago that he submitted that i wanted to play uh because it's very very cool and if you don't know the theme music that you hear at the start of every episode of your music live is from mark 
Kronk song. So uh, thank thank you to him for that. He's given me a few different versions. I pick and choose and play a different one every week. Uh, so this is a tune. And Mark says, thought I'd borrow my son's Alesis V49 keyboard so I could use both hands instead of struggling with my mini USB keys. Bear in mind, not that bear, uh, that I'm not a keyboard player. This is what I came up with, a cheeky little number with more holes in it than Swiss cheese. I was inspired by a long telephone conversation I had where I was required to give my postcode in the NATO phonetic alphabet as the line was so bad. Chango, Tango, Charlie, I don't know. I don't know that phonetic alphabet. I know many people do, uh, but I don't know that phonetic alphabet. Uh, when people are like, I'm like, A for Apple, B for Bob, I don't know. Anyway, let's continue on, shall we? Uh, this is Yankee Oscar Uniform, which of course is Y-O-U. Uh, see, I know that much. You just take the first letter, yeah? Uh, this is Kronk Song, Yankee Oscar Uniform, here on Your Music Live. <laughs> Song level with Yankee Oscar uniform. Uh, yeah, who's going to be... Uh, see, the thing is, I, I'm not going to have that song in my head. I'm going to have another song. Uh, it's a Bloodhound Gang song. Uh, Russ alluded to it before. Foxtrot, uniform. Yeah, anyway. But yes, I love the uh, Foxtrot O over or whatever the was. F O. Anyway, uh, very well done. Uh, very cool. And uh, yeah, never disappoints there. Mark Kronk song uh, with another... Very cool tune. Uh, let us move on to our next tune. Uh, let's uh, let's grab this one, shall we? Because uh, we all know this person. Uh, it is our friend Orchestral Eclipse uh, Orchestra, meaning group of instruments. Eclipse meaning a type of gum, I believe. I think that's right. Yeah. Anyone have Eclipse? Eclipse mints. The, that's right. That's what I use. Uh, when your breath is not the freshest it needs to be and you want to hear orchestral tunes... Orchestra Eclipse. I take Orchestra Eclipse after eating fish. Uh, let's continue. <laughs> I'm losing the plot. It's only 20 minutes in. I'm losing the plot. Uh, this is another Red Dead Redemption 2 orchestral cover. We heard one a uh, few weeks back, and we're going to hear another one. So uh, let's uh, let's give this one a spring here on Your Music Live. <laughs>
that's the noise you make listening to that, right? Yeah, very pretty, very vibe. Now I'm going to go with an NPR voice. That was Orchestra Eclipse with The Way It Was. Let's move on here. <laughs> Nicely done. Uh, sorry, I won't continue with that because that's funny for about minus three seconds. That's right. It, it's it's so unfunny, it stops being funny three minutes, three seconds before I start saying it. Uh, l- l- let's move on and grab another tune. Uh, let's let's grab this one from Afonso, shall we? They say, this song was uh, pr- recorded and produced in my home studio with the lack of time that I had to take a long time to get it done. Uh, but it gave me tremendous enjoyment with each session I recorded. A lot of influences from my childhood. Thanks, Pete, for your inspiration and support for the cause. Well, thank you, Afonso, because uh, th- there is no Your Music Live without you. You put the you in Your Music Live. Not my music live. It's Your Music Live. Uh, Righty dokie. Let's uh, have a listen to this one. This is called Rise Up from Afonso. We're going to take a listen live here on Your Music Live. Let's do it. is also super cool. Nicely done. Yep, very good tune. Well produced. Sounding great. Good job. Thank you for sharing. And uh, sharing is caring, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, we'll listen to one more tune, and then we'll jump in and uh, listen to uh, listen to uh, me rabbit on about uh, Distro Kid because they are our sponsors and they're awesome. Uh, so I'm going to show you something cool here today with Distro Kid, which is the ability to create your own little promo cards and promo videos for free. Super cool, and uh, I haven't shared it for some time, and I need to do it for my own song. So yeah, there's going to be super selfish promo for Distro Kid today, but. I would like to. Uh, I would like to say, are there any Russ fans in the house? Grrr. Yeah, get your angry emojis ready because we're going to play a Russ tune. Russ, we usually save Russ for a bit later, uh, but we're, we're we're thirty minutes in. It's time for some Russ. Russ says, "Hello there, Pete." Got to always do the Russ voice. Hello there, Pete. I uh, hope you and your family are well. We are. Now, I sometimes get my cousin to play guitar on tracks for me, but this time it's different. The Delicate Giants is the new working name for the tracks we do together. So this is our first track working together under this title. Ah. Influenced by mainly by Pink Floyd, we hope to capture that kind of sound. Hopefully, you will enjoy Russ and Gary M. There you go. So yes, if you've heard Russ's tunes that have guitar in them, it's usually his cousin playing guitar. And uh, now, they formed a band, the likes of which the world has never seen. It's called The Delicate Giants, which I love. That's a very cool name. So uh, let's jump in. Yeah, we got the Russ emojis going on. <laughs> let's jump in and take a listen to this one. The Delicate Giants with Concord here on your music live. Let's do it. <laughs> Thank you. 
boo, boo. No, sorry, that's me. That's you booing me because I turned down that track from Russ. Very cool. There you go. Uh, you need to find new emojis for uh, for the band name, <laughs> for the delicate giants, which is very cool. I don't, I don't know how you could do a delicate, like a flower and then like a big man. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm struggling with that one. But yeah, really cool. Uh, yes, you definitely did outdo yourself this time. R Russ is, again, it's another artist that just seems to go from strength to strength. Every time they create a new song, I'm like, surely this one's going to be a stinker. Can't be good all the time, can you? Apparently you can. Oh, wow. That's a really wacky effect on my mug there, isn't it? <laughs> Got the green screen going on, in case you didn't know. I'm using I'm using a cabinet of Mathies. Uh, yes, indeed, it was brilliant. Brilliant, it was. Uh, let's uh, let's continue on, shall we? Uh, and talk about our sponsors, Distro Kid. You don't say it like that. It's just Distro Kid. But uh, I, I've been playing around with some Distro Kid stuff, and I want to show you a cool feature. If you don't know about Distro Kid, by the way, if you don't know the basics of Distro Kid, if you've got songs that you want to release, you want to get them on Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, Deezer, Spotify. I've said that already. A lot of places, basically everywhere. Like I don't know why I'm saying all that because I can come over here and show you like look at this my latest single called Time McFlies is out on all these different places and uh, it's growing all the time the places you can get your stuff out to is all growing all the time and District it only cost you a subscription of less than $20 per year for the musician plan I use the musician plus plan which is $36 a year has a few more tweaks and perks which I've talked about in previous videos but today I no, I need to make myself some promotion so I need to stick some things on Instagram and YouTube to promote my song and Thankfully, DistroKid make this super simple to do. You don't have to have any design skills at all. They hold your hand all the way. So if I go in here to the goodies section and I come down to promote yourself, there's a couple of things I want to show you here. Number one is promo cards. So if you've got a post you want to put on Instagram or on your Facebook page or you know, want to print a physical card out, you can come in here and generate promo cards. So I'm going to go to my new song, which is called Time McFlyers, and I'm going to hit generate promo cards. And here you go. These are all of the cool promo cards that we can use. Now, I think we have to use this, right? This cassette version. There's other cool ones here. There's a bunch you can look into. Like there's all sorts of cool different effects here that we can use. But I'm going to go with this cassette because I think this looks spot on for uh, for what I want here with this song. So all we need to do is click on this one. It will create that promo card. And then all we need to do is download the JPEG. There you go. We, we load that one up. We've got that JPEG. We can use this. I can use this image in anything I want to now. I can bring it into Canva and play around with it some more, or I can just throw it straight up onto Instagram. Very cool. But that is not all because there's some other cool options we have. Oh, how cool is that TV one? Yeah. <laughs> I love that. We can also create mini videos here. So if we go to promote yourself, this is all free, by the way, on every plan, free. Uh, we go to mini videos. We can create custom short videos to share on social media. So this will share a 15-second video, which is great for your uh, Twitters, for your Instagram stories, for your TikToks. You can do some cool little videos. So I'm going to use, what will I use? Actually, I've done one already. Uh, so you can choose any of these. Uh, I did this one for one of my songs. My song, New Beginning, had the flame artwork that I used here. So all you need to do is click one of these, and then you pick the song, again, that you want to use. So I'm going to go Time McFlies. You can change it here. So if I didn't want this to say out, now I can say, Great Scott. <laughs> and you can even trim it to the point where you want the song to start. So I happen to know my chorus starts at 59 seconds. I can trim the song to start there. All I need to do then is hit the Generate Mini Video and it will go away and generate that video. Now, because I'm like a TV chef, here's one I prepared earlier so we could actually view it because I knew it would take about five minutes to generate. So I've already generated this exact one. If we go to view here, let's take a look and a listen, shall we? We'll turn up the volume. Time flies when you're having fun. Sometimes feels you're the only one who knows how heavy it feels. There you go. How cool is that? That's all created for free here in DistroKid. So there you go. Yet another reason why you want to release with DistroKid, yeah? Because they hook you up with all of these cool tools. You think, oh, I've just got my music out there. What do I do now? DistroKid got you covered. They're going to uh, do some cool things. McFry! <laughs> it is. It's very nice. It's a cool feature. And uh, thank you, Vidal on the Shadowy Figures. What is the PJ promo code hookup? Uh, it is right up the top there. DistroKid.com slash VIP slash Pete Johns. You'll save yourself 7% off your first year on any DistroKid 
plan. Let's continue on, shall we? Uh, because uh, we've got a heap more music to get through. Mars Capone, our man Greg Hernandez, has got another submission here. And he said, Koala Sampler Roulette Challenge, two-hour flip challenge. I pulled drum and synth-based one sheets from Mobile Music Pro's Synthwave Pack. Shout out to Vortex. Hello to Vortex, Mobile Music Pro. Hope you're doing well. Uh, start somewhere in the middle, as I don't want your viewers to miss the touching scene at the very end. <laughs> this is scary. The touching scene at the end, says Greg. Uh, okay. Um, well, we will start in the middle. How long is it? It's two minutes five. And uh, I'll just check the touching scene at the end. There you go. All right. Looks cool. All right. We're going to start here at the uh, one minute mark, Greg. So I've got you queued up to one minute. We'll jump over here. This is Greg Hernandez, uh, better known as Mars Capone these days, and a tune called Koala Roulette. Uh, if you don't know Koala, it's because it's called the Koala Sampler that he's using here, which is a very cool sampler for iOS. Let's give this one a spin here on Your Music Live. <laughs> And you got the dog doing the foot, the foot wipe shuffle there, which is always cool to see at the end. <laughs> it goes straight to something with like someone doing the double finger salute. Very nice. Uh, good stuff. Thank you for sharing there. Yeah, I agree. Very, very cool. Genius stuff there. Although I, I, I love it. Yeah, puppy points. You always get points when you when you show a puppy at the end. Hello, by the way, to Autism Rocks, Acceptance and Awareness through music. I hope you are doing well over there, Danny and Micah. And uh, yeah, in interesting. Interesting song indeed. A bit of dog business there at the end. Nice stuff. Let's continue on here. Now, a band that I've been playing uh, songs from a few times, I reckon I've played two or three of them, uh, called State of Mind. And they're really, they're really rocking my world. They're, they're sharing songs from their album from 1994, which I don't normally get behind because I'm like, like oh, I was about to play it. We'll come back. Uh, which I don't normally get behind because I'm like, you know, this is about new music. But I have got in touch with them and they've said, oh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we've reformed. We've got some new music coming. So I'm like, cool. So we're going to play one more of the old school State of Mind tracks. And uh, this is a tune called Break. Uh, and they say, another tune from our past, a song about being confident. Who needs some confidence lessons? Me, a lot of the time. Let's uh, let's hit play on tape and take a listen to Break from State of Mind here on Your Music Live. <laughs> How cool is that? State of mind. Yeah. <laughs> Thought it might be up your Alec. Alec? Alec. Alec. 
statistic. Yeah, big big snare, big huge guitars, solid rock all the way there. I miss the 90s. I miss I miss intros that could be longer than 10 seconds. Like 30 second intro like that. I miss those in a big bad way. And yeah, very cool lick like doo -doo 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 -doo. I love a, I love a cool lead riff going through a 90s grungy style sound. Yeah, filling filling the headphones, catching on fire there. Uh, hey Jay, hope you're doing well. Uh, let's uh, Let's continue on. Jay is someone who uses slaps.com. Uh, so yeah, check out Jay's music on slaps.com, which is Distro Kids online music sharing platform. All right, got some catching up to do. So we're going to go back in time. If you've been waiting for your song to be played for a long time, I'm probably going to play it soon because we're catching up on some songs from back in April. And uh, this one is called Lonely and it's from Dizzy Dre. That's a very cool name. Not Dr. Dre, but Dizzy Dre. Uh, they say, uh, it was a freestyle. I just did and went and added parts to it. And recording process was about one or two days. I can't really remember, but it has an alternative vibe to it. Uh, and it's about the hardships in relationships, but a little of upbeatness. we got everything going on here. Let's just jump in and take a listen, shall we? This is Dizzy Dre with a tune called Lonely. And we're going to listen to it live on your music live. Are you okay? I feel so lonely without you. Without you, I feel like I lost it around you. Around you, I feel so lonely without you. Never gonna stop no. Your girl on my line Cause she just wanna talk, talk. Shawty's so divine Fun is when it's not yeah. Baby, hold me close Never let go Very nicely done. I like the video effects. I like the audio. I agree, Dan. Good use of auto-tune. Auto-tune can be used well, and uh, that is a case of it. Yeah, very nicely done. A sweet beat, and uh, yeah, nicely done. Thank you for sharing, uh, and uh, only thing I could say to improve is the kick could be a little higher in the mix. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we could just get a little bit more punch through. Hit you in the chest, right? Yeah. But uh, yeah, other than that, really good. I agree. Nicely done. Very good stuff. Thank you for sharing. Uh, speaking of sharing, if you are here for the first time, uh, put a hashtag new down in the chat here. Just put the hashtag N-E-W new. All of the usual suspects here will be super nice to you. And if you've got questions about how the process works or anything, most of it's answered down in the description. If you want to share a song, you can do so using the link at studiolivetoday.com slash Y-M. L and uh, we're going to continue on because we've got a whole bunch more to go now. This next one says, This song is one in Romanian. It's about your dreams, just follow them. Yeah, I won't rant about it because I've got other shows where I rant about things, but for goodness sake, follow your dreams. Don't, don't not do things because you are scared to do them. Don't not do things because of what other people think. You will regret more what you do not do than what you do do. I like saying that because I get to say, do do. Because you can't also take yourself too seriously. All right, this is Vio or Vio and a song called Vice. And we're going to listen to it live on Your Music Live. Let's do it. Mas după vise până sunt realitate Diamantele sunt diamante chiar și sparte Visam să fiu omul de azi Să nu te lasă gaz Mas după vise 
te pones un realidade Diamantele sunt diamante chiar si sparte Poate o sa treaca Te rog sa lasi timpul sa meargă Dar orice ar fi nu ma lasa pe mine Scriu in continuu nu ma pot abține Stii ca vreau doar sa fii bine Sunt nebun dupa tine Nu stiu ce mi-ai facut Nu mai impasa de trecut Am pierdut mult prea multe Nu mai era nimeni sa ma asculte Pana aia parut si totul s-a schimbat deodata Crede-ma ca nu vreau sa pleci niciodata Cea mai frumoasa fata Te-am dat inima toata Cea mai frumoasa fata Te-am dat inima toata Visam sa fiu omul de azi Sa nu te lasa caz Mergi dupa vise pana sunt realitate very nicely done. We've got some good vocals in there. You've got a nice beat. Uh, lots of low end there. A little bit rumbly in the low end. I know that's a part of that kick and that boom like that. It wasn't even really an 808, but that sort of uh, that sort of kick. But uh, yeah, very nicely done. Again, good atmosphere. I agree. Uh, yeah, you've got the visuals there and then you've got the, vo- the, uh, the vocal coming through. Very good. Very nicely done. Atmos. Atmospherics uh, going well. And uh, Vidal and the shadowy figures. Thank you for the super sticker. It is folks like Vidal and the shadowy figures who keep the lights on around here at Studio Live today so that I can feed and clothe her. <laughs> Hello to uh, to my daughter who is uh, watching live. I do this early in the morning and the rest of the family get to sleep in. While I'm up here getting ready and working and preparing the show, uh, yeah, the rest of the family are just, you know, oh, just coming on up. Uh, let's uh, continue on with our next tune. And uh, actually, Jasmine, at the end of this show, um, you're probably in your PJs, but at the end of the show, uh, yeah, there's a song from QB that I was playing to my kids last night. And I said, at the end of the show, you should come in and we should dance around to QB's tune, even though it'll be in the headphones here, but maybe I can turn the speakers up and uh, break the goal, cardinal rule of streaming and uh, actually play play it live. Um, because, yeah, we're going we're gonna to close with QB tonight. There you go. I've, I've spoiled it. Spoiler alert, QB closer happening tonight. Uh, speaking of closer, we're only about 10 minutes away from our toilet break, uh, which is uh, going to be uh, an interesting tune here today. Oh, we got the ad. Hang on. We got the SoundCloud ad. Hold everything. There are two raffle style games to sink your claws into. Super Jackpot and Mega Jackpot. Look out for me, Lucky the Cat, in store on the lot.com or the lot app today. There you go. Everyone should buy more lottery tickets. I've heard that's a, I've heard that's the secret to success. Just buy as many lottery tickets as possible. No, please, for the love of God, just don't don't do that. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's continue on. Um, and, uh, and play another tune. So this one is uh, from JRL Beats, and they say the following. Hi, I make this song on my recent album, Beats. I was hoping you could play it because I'm 15 years old and I want to do something creative with music one day. On Beats, I have five different genres and I want to show people how I could produce good songs. I hope I can be on the show and get your reaction. Thank you. See, that, that's how you do it. You're super polite, you're super patient, and you throw it out there. 15 years old, uh, I, why, why do I get the feeling that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to feel really old in just a moment and uh, really jealous of the awesome talent that's out there? Let's uh, take a spin on this one. JRL Beats, out of this universe on Your Music Live. <laughs> Definitely a very cool, uh, unique beat, isn't it? If I had flow, I could rap over the top of this. I was at the 7-Eleven buying an iced coffee when a guy came up and said you drink a big M. No, not true. Stop it, Pete. Stop it, Pete. Yeah, imagine if you mix that with like an Australian Bogan song. It's like, get me back my iced coffee, punk, or I'll smash ya. No, no. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man, it's getting to that point. Must be nearly toilet break time because I kind of start to lose the plot. Uh, good job. 15 years of age at producing cool beats like that. Uh, th- th- it's difficult to produce a beat that doesn't sound like every beat that everyone else has produced, yeah? So anytime you get something that sounds a bit unique, I think that's a good thing. Uh, so well done. Good stuff. And uh, keep on doing it. Drag gurus. Speaking of nothing in particular, Drag Gurus is the name of our next artist. And this one's intriguing because they've said uh, the following. This song is a tribute to TV show sex therapist Dr. Ruth, originally written many years ago, but only recently recorded on GarageBand. There you go. Dr. Ruth. Who remembers Dr. Ruth? Hands up. Hands up who's old enough to remember who Dr. Ruth is or was. Uh, Is she still with us? I don't know. Let's give this one a spin. It's Drag Gurus with their tune called Dr. Ruth here on your music live. like it. I like the use of the garage band instruments. I like the uh, I like the album artwork. I like a lot about that. Uh, Dr. Ruth, yeah. Who, when was the last time anyone thought of Dr. Ruth? Yeah, I'd love to hear that vocal just pushed up in the mix. I agree. I wanted to hear more of that because it sounded super cool. Um, I just couldn't hear the lyrics that well. So I would uh, I would pump up pump up the volume. Speaking of things from the past, I'd pump up the volume. Yeah, excellent tune. Yeah, just a little bit more forward on the vocals, but a very cool groove and very nicely done. Um, Who would like some metal? Can I get some horns up if you're into your metal? Because uh, our man Nathan D'Souza has a metal track that they would like to share. It says, Hi Pete, this is an industrial, industrial, instrumental metal song I made in GarageBand using only my iPhone and my guitar. No audio interface and no other equipment. I was trying to do something fast and melodic. Did we play this? I'm not sure. We're going to play it again anyway. <laughs> metal goes fast, so if I have played it again, if I have played it before... I apologize, but uh, maybe we played one of other Nathan's other tunes, but we're going to play it because metal, yeah? All right, this is Unbroken from Nathan D'Souza. It's already playing. <laughs> uh, now YouTube's getting anxious. All right, go back to the start. There we go. Uh, let's play this one. This is Unbroken, Nathan D'Souza on Your Music Live. I love the uh, the laughing in the background, right? 
<laughs> Very good. Uh, was it made in GB? I believe Nathan says instrumental made in GarageBand. Yeah, using only my phone and the guitar. So no audio interface, no anything else. That's pretty cool, right? Very nicely done. Yes, agree. It does sound dope indeed. Yeah, a bit of Iron Maiden bass going on in there. Uh, I love that. I don't know what sort of, because I'm not a metal head completely, but I don't know what sort of metal you'd call that. But uh, it's metal, um, what would you call it? Uh, like I like galloping metal. It's not, it's not a term, but that's what I call it, that. that. Um, reminds me of uh, that Muse tune, um, the one where it's the like, no one wants to make me alive. The dun 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 dun. Anyway, uh, let's, let's uh, continue on here. So um, we played a tune from Christine Gruner or Grunert uh, recently, and uh, Christine uses uh, DistroKid, so that's that means she's all automatically cool. <laughs> she uses our sponsor, uh, but she's uh, she's shared a cover song. So this is a cover of a Sia song from 1996, uh, very little known, produced all by myself in GarageBand, and it's about how to live on your own. Um, Tim Minchin actually covered a Sia song in a, a Triple J. Um, uh, anyway, that, that's I'll talk about that later, maybe on a different show. But uh, this is uh, this is a How to Breathe radio edit from Christine Gruner, and we're going to play it live on Your Music Live. Describing a special place for me You say I need prescribing A dose of your company But can you teach me what I want to learn Can you give me what it is I earn You say you like a chair say you like a second glance and I say There you go. How to breathe. A uh, cover of the Sea at Tune there from uh, Christine Gruner. Very cool. And yeah, I, I also dig uh, dig early Sia stuff. Um, she's made some missteps lately, it's fair to say. And uh, I know cancel culture wants to get rid of anyone who does anything. I'm not going to even touch that except to say that, yeah, she's a, she's from Adelaide and I do dig her early stuff. She did a, a guest on a Hilltop Hoods track um, called I Love It, which is a very cool tune. So um, yeah, I do like that. Let's, uh, let's move on. We're going to go one more tune, one more tune before the toilet break, shall we? Um, and then uh, we will be back with a heap more. And the one more tune we're going to play is our friend, our our compadre, Michael, a.k.a. Zealand Band. Yes, get your Z emojis, get your sleeping emojis. I swear, people are going to come into this stream and go, why has everyone got angry faces? Why has everyone got sleeping faces? Why are there so many penguins in there? I don't get it. So uh, this is Michael, a.k.a. Zealand Band. He says, g'day, Pete. This is a song about shapes and colours, and I threw in some music too. Love you, Michael. Love your work. Uh, let's jump in. It's called Paint by Number. Michael, a.k.a. Zealand Band.
The thing I love about uh, Michael's tunes is that you never quite know what you're going to get. You hit play and it's something different every time. Like it, it, it is. It's, it's eclectic. And we love all sorts of music around here. We love, uh, we love the piano tunes. We love the hip hop tunes. Yes, we do. We, we like some hip hop. Uh, we like anything. As long as you're not overly profane or you're not, uh, you know, no, no crime or violence, then we're down. Like, yeah, just be cool. <laughs> be cool, be happy, be positive, and then we're good. And yeah, sometimes you do need to be a bit angry and you need to put the occasional F or, or F word in there. Uh, but, but remember, my, my uh, yeah, it, we're, we're here to have a good time. And we don't want to bring anyone down. So anything that's uh, anything that's hate fuel, we're not going to play. But that is not that is Michael, aka the Land Band. Right, we are going to kick into our toilet break now, and I'm going to be super self serving. I know it's your music live, not my music live, but I do have a new song. And I did release it using our friends at Distro Kid. You would have seen it. Uh, you've already heard a little snippet of it that we created here in the last section here. And uh, the cool thing about Distro Kid is, again, that it's got ways to actually share your music. So if I go back to my music and I come in here to my single, uh, they've got something cool here called the Hyper Follow. And what you can actually do is you can actually go to this Hyper Follow link. And what it does is it brings this up. It's got a little preview of the tune. And then you can go to Spotify, to Apple Music, to iTunes. Oh, I've got to edit this because it's not got all the other places. It's not got my YouTube on there. Uh, we'll have to customize that later. I don't know why it doesn't have YouTube yet, but I'll, uh, I'll play you my YouTube video of this one while I go and have a <clears throat> quick comfort stop. I'm just going to, now I have to go in here and search Pete Johns, Time McFlies. Now, uh, I released this under a second artist name called Righty Doki because DistroKid allows you to do that. It's very cool. You can actually, if you're on the Musician Plus plan, you can get two artists. If you're on the label plan, you can have five, 10, 20 artists. Uh, you do have to pay eat for each artist, but you get a discounted rate. Each artist you add, you get a discounted rate. And uh, there you go. As uh, Tom says, you can sign up using the link uh, that we have pinned there and up the top there, and you will save yourself 7% off your first year on any Distro Kid plan. So I thought I'd play you a little bit of my new tune while we have a little toilet break here. This is a tune called Time It Flies. It is an 80s synth tune all about one of my favourite movies of all time. Let's take a listen. We'll be back in about three minutes for second half. We got some great songs in the second half. Don't anybody go any. Don't nobody go nowhere. There you go. That's a line from the movie. Uh, here we go. Time It Flies when you're having fun.
Yes, we had a uh, very productive, <laughs> very productive toilet break there. Um, I, I play my songs because sometimes I play a toilet break song and I feel bad because I'm not here to read the comments and I'm not here to put them on the screen and interact. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, doing a good service to other people's music. So I thought I'll use my song as a uh, as a as the the one. And I'm waiting for Jade to finish her Desir tunes as well because I think uh, we'll be playing a bunch of them. Not a, again, not to not get acknowledgement, but Jade Star was the original uh, toilet break. Um, person <laughs> that I would use each week because she'd share a cool tune every week. Uh, let's uh, let, let's move away, shall we, from here? <coughs> and let's jump back into the uh, the little uh, little studio room that I usually use here. There you go. Uh, we'll get, uh, get our vibe on for the second half because we've been in front of Maffy Stacks for a really long time. But we want to continue on with the show. Big second half coming right up. I hope nobody uh, went anywhere too far away. Um, I have an idea. Let's play a song by Ivan Idea. <laughs> if you don't know Ivan Idea, uh, he, he's, he's probably surpassed Doctor's Orders with the coolest pun name. Sorry, Doctor. Uh, but you know what? Ivan Idea. Come on. Yeah, right. Uh, so Ivan Idea has a tune. Uh, it is called Dancing Stars featuring uh, uh, Ivan Idea and JJ featuring Jesse. And uh, we're going to play this. He said, literally just recorded this track for fun and to get better at mixing back in the day. So let's get some let's get some Ivan Idea in our lives, shall we? Um, Ivan Idea, also a, a, a patron of the channel. So thank you. Big shout out to all the patrons out there who help keep the lights on here at Studio Live today. All right, let's take a spin of this one. It's called Dancing Stars, and we're going to listen to it on Your Music Live. Ridiculously good, yeah. And I know you're all booing me. You're all sitting there in your chairs and in your beds and in your um, vestibules, vestibule. Uh, but you're booing me because I turned it down. But yeah, very cool, very catchy tune. If you haven't checked out Ivan Ideas Music, you should. And uh, I've done you a solid. I've linked it down in the description of this very video. So yeah, I've done the hard work for you. If you've gone through this and you've been like, oh, I really liked that Scott Mitchell tune, uh, Ice Fox on his drums, want to watch that again. Cronk Song's tune this week was amazing. That was cool. Uh, I really like that Dizzy Dre beat. Guess what? Just go down to the description after the show and check them out. And while you're there, share the video. 
So if you hit the share button, you can actually share it as a link and send it to someone who you think would dig some of the coolest independent music in the world because that's what we play every week. And I can say that. I don't big note myself very much, but I can big note you folks. I can say things like, this is not the best show in the world, but by goodness, do we play the best independent music in the world. Absolutely. Alrighty. Uh, speaking of cool people, uh, Joe and Barry Glenn, I haven't seen them here. Um, maybe it's uh, they're having a rest day in Canada up there. Uh, but they produce some pretty amazing music. So we're going to change the pace. <laughs> we're going to go from I Have an Idea, pump and pop, uh, to something a little more laid back. So uh, Joe and Barry Glenn said, This fun little ditty was inspired out of complete frustration when trying to download songs to DistroKid. <laughs> via the iPad Pro. But you, Pete, did prevail and got it done. <laughs> Thank you to Luma Fusion and GB for your inspiration for allowing us to get our stuff out there. Yeah, right? Maybe I need, uh, as well as DistroKid, maybe Luma Fusion and, and Apple can sponsor me. <laughs> oh, the day I get an Apple sponsorship on this show, hey? <laughs> I don't think they like that I don't always say super nice things about them. I'm not. I'm not mean. I'm a very positive person, but if something's broken, I say it's broken because it is. All right, let's continue on. Uh, this is called Get Right To It, You Will Prevail. <laughs> I'm, I'm here for like a minute trying to introduce a song and the song's called Get Right To It. All right, Joe and Barry Glenn here on Your Music Live. <laughs> Classic Joe and Barry, I agree. <laughs> Love it. Yes, uh, exactly. It is It is my philosophy. I dig it. I dig it the most because, uh, yeah, it's exactly what I believe. And I love that uh, yeah, Joe and Barry are, are absolute examples of just getting on with it and doing it. Every time they produce something, video, audio, everything, it is just next level. And, uh, yeah, beautiful song there. Super talented. And I agree, Jazz. Great instrumental tune there. Thank you for sharing. Uh, speaking of sharing, we got a tune here from someone called A Lil Sunshine. And they say, hi, Pete, I'm Roland. Uh, uh, just at Le Dimish, Dimosh, <laughs> I offer you one of my first compositions on GarageBand. I followed a lot of your advice and thank you for it. I practice the piano on my own and I have started computer music for a few months. I composed this uh, title during confinement. Uh, my wife was a little sad, the rain, the masked people, and uh, in short, a dirty atmosphere. Here is A Lil Sunshine. The voice part is carried out exclusively in synthesis. I use a software type uh, vocal Vocaloid. I hope you like it and uh, all the reviews with pleasure. Pleasure. I compose the lyrics in French because I am French. I'm interested in getting feedback on the translation. Is it understandable to you? Thank you and uh, thank you and good direct to you, Roland. So Roland, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll play this tune. We, we do have plenty of French folks here in the audience. So uh, if there is some French here to translate, Mark, you're on notice. <laughs> <laughs> because we might need some help here. Alrighty, okay. Let's uh, let's take a listen to this one. This is just Le Dimanche and uh, a little sunshine on uh, what is sometimes a cloudy day. Let's listen to it live on your music live. <laughs> Thank you. 
Love it. So yeah, clearly it's the uh, the English translation, and it was working perfectly until that very last line there. Why do we have to live like this? Yeah, the word "live" in English is the stupidest one. Uh, in excess had an album called. Uh, they had a song called "Live Baby Live." Well, actually, it was a lyric in an album, and then they did an album called "Live Baby Live," which was a live album. So yeah, "Live and Live" is weird, uh, but yeah, really cool, really interesting, really unique stuff going on there. Good video presentation as well, and uh, I like it. I didn't know that that could all be done. Yeah right mark i didn't know you could synthesize vocals like that um very cool i know jade showed some stuff like that on her show before but excellent good stuff thank you for sharing roland uh, i like it a lot and yeah as as mark said here uh what did i say just just the dimanche means uh, only on sundays yeah i actually didn't know that because uh, lundi mardi mercredi jeudi vendredi samedi dimanche see i can do my days of the week that's it that's all I got. That's my French stretched, uh, except for my usual thing. It's like, uh, je m'appelle Pierre. Ah, ça va Paul. Ah, voilà Paul. No, voilà Paul. Ça, ça va Paul. Oh, see, I can't do it. I used to have that little phrase that I used to sing. Sing, say in French. Maybe I need to write a song in French. Maybe that should be my uh, my next challenge. Alrighty, let's uh, let's play a little bit of, a little bit of tune here. This is Rick Hunter, aka Dream States, and he says this is the final minute mi- final minute of a great new power pop song I'm working on. Well, we'll be the judge of that. Uh, yes, let's get jump in and take a listen. So this is Twang and Harmony from Dream States. Uh, let's have a little little listen to some Twang and Harmony here on Your Music Live. dig that that's got a very uh, it's got um a radio head sounds like animal what's the big deal i'm an animal yeah very cool very cool power pop the guitar is floating floating through my head hippies with synths <laughs> Yeah, I know. It's, it's it's all over the shop, isn't it? It's 60s, it's kind of 80s, 90s vibe. Uh, it did some good things there. So well done. Nicely. Nice stuff. I can't wait to hear the final version, if that's just a little a little toast, a little snippet, so to speak. Uh, let's uh, come in here and grab our next tune. This is by JMDN, and uh, they say the following. Uh, it's called Don't Look Back. Oh, we got some 80s synth wave, 80s fans in the house. Are there any synth wave type emojis? Uh, this is looking cool. Here, I'll, I'll show you the cover while we chat about it. Uh, Don't Look Back, the last song recorded on my 80s synth wave EP, The Wave. It started out as three chords on a synth, then slowly transformed into what it is. Like most of the solos on the EP, the guitar solo took 50 to 60 takes to get it right. Hope you'll enjoy the track as, uh, as much as I did making it. The Wave Volume 2 coming soon. It's also on Spotify, iTunes, and on my YouTube channel channel jm space dn if you would like to check it out there as well well we're going to check it out right here right now and it is called don't look back by jm dn we're going to spin it live 
on Your Music Live. Just thinking that statistic, like it. It's a montage, a sports training montage. <laughs> I love that. I, I love that sound. It just reminds me of like all the Karate Kid movies, all the Top Gun, all the Point Break. No, that was that was nineties. All those old eighties movies where there would always be those synthy but with guitars like synth rock kind of sounds very cool i love it yep montage for the win absolutely yeah everyone everyone's thinking montage now aren't they you know you are very cool nice one jmdn do not be a stranger and make sure that you share again in the future all right let's play another tune this is jaggy edges uh, sorry i'm gonna move quickly here because we're gonna catch up on some tunes that have been sitting here in the backlog for a while uh and this is jaggy edges they say this is from uh, Jag Edges, our brothers Joe Graham and Jim Graham, a track from our new album, Peanuts and Monkeys, available on Bandcamp. Recorded in isolation, the song was written as a tribute to John Prime, who died from COVID in 2020. His death sparked the memory of a period when his music first hit home, and his album Sweet Revenge was the soundtrack to a particular period in my life, starting out as an artist in London. Shout out to Russ and all the other folks in London. And then ever since, Jim then put his tune and music to it for this album. So, Jim and Joe Graham, Jaggy Edges, and uh, this tune called The Thing About Inspiration from their album, which has got a cool name, Peanuts and Monkeys, right? Love it. Uh, let's give this one a spin here uh, on Your Music Live. There's a street just off the Fulham Road And a makeshift artist studio And a stack of vinyl records on a chair Most of them are played to death One stands high above the rest A memory just shook me back to there Three months in that scary place was all we could afford to face The simple fact of living on the line I've moved around a lot since then No point in remembering The pile of unpaid bills we left behind That's the thing about inspiration You don't know if you've got it till you get it Or it's gone one unguarded situation It's gonna hit you if it hits you It won't hang around too long Popery and playing games Three days now it's still the same one Indiana Jones and Sweet Revenge Something stick is Very nicely done 
I know. Christopher Rossi has read my mind. He knew I was about to turn it down. He said, the whole song, please, Pete. Yeah. Uh, if I played the whole song, we'd get through three times less songs every week. So, and, and then you'd have nothing to do afterwards. So what you get to do is go down to the description and you can actually check out the full version. But yeah, very nice. Beautiful voice. Classic tune. Nice work. Well done indeed there. And thank you for sharing it. So yeah, again, we have songs here that'll make you laugh. They'll make you cry. They'll hit you in the feels and make you feel warm and fuzzy all the way down in the cockles uh, of your heart. <laughs> your heart. <laughs> let's, uh, let's move on to our next tune. This is from Adam George Brown, who says, Hi, my name is Adam. I'm from Newcastle upon Tyne in England. It's a UK section. Hey, geezer, it's the UK section here on Your Music Life. Uh, I wrote and recorded my song in a local studio called The Sound Room not the sound test room, at Gateshead upon Tyne. Uh, everything's upon something else in the UK. I did all the music, I recorded the rhythm and did the solo parts on top. It seemed to mix together nicely with the keyboard and vocals. The song is about existential life. The song is about people who wonder about meeting an alien, uh, but if they did meet one, would be scared if they actually met an alien. <laughs> True that, I would be freaked out. Uh, it is one of my favourite songs I've written. Uh, people can listen to my music on YouTube, Spotify, etc. Thanks, Adam, uh, we will play this one. I like, I like the, um, I like the, the cover art there too. Look at that, Adam George Brown, Earth Two. Uh, this is called Sign of Life. It's already playing because, of course, it is. Let's go back to the start of the track and play this one. This is Adam George Brown. Please pause, YouTube. Oh, YouTube, where will you learn? Cue it at the start. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Professionalism. Sign of life from Adam George Brown here on Your Music Life. Cool. Statistic is saying uh, Pink Floyd mixed mixed with Jerry Cantrell. Yeah, I'm hearing a bit of bad Bowie on those vocals, just quietly. Yeah, there you go. The ghost of Bowie coming through. Yeah, a little. I think because of the space theme as well, uh, a little bit of that Major Tom kind of going on there. Yeah, very cool. Nice arrangement. Nicely done. Yeah, a bit of, bit of Bowie Major Tom. See, I'm not the only one. I know. Turn it down because we've got to get going. Just as it was starting. I know. But guess what? That is one that you will want to go and re-listen to, yeah? Yeah, a bit of Getty Lee, a bit of Getty Lee vocal as well. Absolutely, yeah, really nicely done, very professional recording. And uh, thank you for sharing. There you go. See, we've got some, this is a good thing about going into the backlog, <laughs> making sure that we're catching up on these tunes. We're, we're learning, we're finding tunes uh, from, from different people and different times and different cool things, such as Noble Savage who says, was all made in GarageBand iOS on the iPad using instruments and samples from it, in addition with sounds from freesound.org. There you go. Shout out. Freesound.org if you're looking for some free samples and loops to use in your projects. This song is about me, my experience with depression, and the little helpful voice in my head. Uh, the, the title Drifting Clouds comes from just depression coming and going like drifting clouds. Uh, just as dark clouds fade away, some drift back in. Uh, yeah, and uh, music is, is a good, I've always said music, Music is a good healer, but it's not all you need. Uh, if you are suffering at the moment with any sort of anxiety, depression, any mental health issues, there is help out there. 
all different countries have their own different uh, pl places you can go, websites uh, here in Australia, it's Beyond Blue. Uh, I know there's a bunch of other things in the UK and the US and other places. So don't ever feel like you are there alone. If you are suffering, please get yourself some help. There are people out there who are trained, not me, <laughs> I'm not trained to help, but there are people out there who are trained to help you. Let's uh, continue and play this song. This is Noble Savage with their tune, Drifting Clouds, here on Your Music Live. <laughs> <laughs> How cool was that? That opening and then the the panning going on and then kicking in. Wow. Just, uh, yeah, it, uh, it, it did all the things. Uh, very cool. Yes. Very, very psychedelic. Very, uh, very getting up in your head. So, yeah, I, I like it because when you hear the description of that and then you hear the song, you're like, yeah, it, it, it all makes sense, right? It all lines up together based on uh, what you've just said there. A hundred percent. Uh, right, let's play a tune from Claret Lakes. Have I played this one, Andy and Cy? Let's, uh, let, let's uh, bring it up here. Uh, I haven't marked it off, so it's getting played anyway. <laughs> We're playing it, darn it. I know I have played a few Claret Lake songs before, uh, but I don't, I don't recognise this one uh, by the, uh, the album artwork here, so we're going to play this one. And they say, Hi Pete, uh, here is the latest offering from Claret Lake. Hot off the press, it's a song about a guy who knows his girlfriend is cheating on him, she knows he knows she's cheating on him, and he knows that she knows that he, he knows she's cheating on him. It does what it says on the tin. Enjoy. Andy and Cy. See, that description sounds familiar. We're just going to play it anyway, because I like Claret Lake, and I like their tunes. So if we played it before, my apologies, but let's hit the play button on this one. Claret Lake, I know you know I know, on Your Music Live. <laughs> Uh, 
Very cool indeed. Yeah, a little bit more Bowie vibes going on there. Good job, Andy and Cy. I don't think we had played that before, but maybe we've played so many breakup songs or cheating songs that they just <laughs> the description sounded familiar. But very cool stuff, and thank you to you and to everyone for sharing um, and for being here today. Like I say, if you're getting some fun times here, you can hit the little thumbs up button down below. That's a thing you can do. And uh, like I say, if you share this with someone you love, then they can get the gift of amazing independent music, including uh, this one. And uh, I'll play this one because it is from our friend Al. You can call him Al. Uh, he also goes by Night Train 1988. And uh, he's got a track here that uh, is called Love is a Battlefield. No, it's not a new and original song. It is indeed a cover of the Pat Benatar classic, Love is a Battlefield. Recorded in GarageBand on iPad. iPad? It's a new one, I Prayed Pro. Uh, recorded in GarageBand, mastered using Grand Finale. Please play from 30 seconds in. I can do that because I'm here on Slaps.com. Slaps.com is the music sharing platform from DistroKid, who just happened to be the amazing sponsor of this show. So do jump over to, uh, to Slaps.com if you want to share your music because you can do cool things like share it here. We can play it back. I can give some fire. I can save this track. I can even share this track. So we will uh, hit play on this one. This is Night Train. 1988 with Love is a Battlefield. Let's do it. And you didn't want me to turn it down either. But that just means you have to jump over to slaps.com. Throw some fire on it. Do this. There you go. I've, I've linked it down in the description now. So you've got no excuse. In fact, I haven't yet. <laughs> I do need to sneeze. What great timing. What great fun. <laughs> Nitrain 1988. Love is a battlefield. I love, I, I love two types of covers. I love covers that are really close to the original. And I love covers that are nothing like the original that take you on a whole new journey. Does that make me weird? I, I don't know why, but yeah. Does it mean I don't like covers that are somewhere in between? I don't know. But there you go. Uh, so do jump over. If you're not already a Slaps user, jump on over to slaps.com. Sign up. You don't have to be a distro kid user to be on Slaps. You can release your music onto Slaps and then decide later if you want to become a distro kid user. Uh, but yeah, no, thank you. Thank you, Al, for uh, for sharing. I'm the, yeah, I like it. I like, see, so Weezer did an album of covers, their sort of turquoise album from a couple of years back. And I really dug it because they were it was almost exactly the same as the originals, but with like Weezer guitars and with Rivers Cuomo vocals. And then I hear songs like that, and I'm like, I love it being all the way out there. Weird is good, Jenny. And I'm glad Jenny's here, because I'm going to play some Wolfstone Studio right bloody now. <laughs> so Ron and Jenny at Wolfstone Studio said, Hi, Pete, we officially stepped into the world of R&B music with electronic. 
for this new song called Spinning Around Your World. Thanks for showing us how to alter and change loops. It's amazing what you can do in GarageBand. Those techniques really helped in creating this new project. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm so glad because that is why I do what I do here. I do what I do, you know, my, my mantra, I say, is Studio Live today where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music. And it really is. Every time I release a video, I sit down and think, is this helping people create, record and release their best music? If I think the answer is yes, then I put the video out there. If it's no, then I go, maybe I need to think about something else and do something different. But and you might say, but Pete, this show, you're just playing people's music. But yeah, create, record, release. I'm helping you create, record and release your best music. And part of releasing is uh, getting people to hear your tunes, which is exactly what this show is all about. All right, let's jump over and take a listen to this one. The one, the only Wolfstone Studio and spinning around your world here on Your Music Live. good mix really tight really great production all round epic love it a lot uh, statistic here says this sounds really good some really nice 90s elements in there agreed indeed fantastic stuff and thank you so much for sharing we've only got uh, 13 minutes left here and then uh, guess what mr tom richelle this guy right here aka thomas christ will be playing a live set so if you want to continue partying with the cool community of Studio Live today, guess what? Plenty of them will be over there watching Tom rock out and play his entire album. He's playing his 2014 album called Pathetic Disgrace. Yes, you're a pathetic disgrace. Sounds like a, you know a 80s movie uh, about a boxer who's like, uh, you're a pathetic disgrace and you'll never amount to anything. And then uh, <laughs> the guy's like, I'll show you, and does that. Um, thank you, uh, our times too. I don't think you shared a song this week, or if you did, um, I haven't got it on my playlist, but uh, I had a conversation via email with our times too this week because I've been calling them RX2 but it's R times two, and it resulted in a name change. So you can see there, R times two has decided to put that with the bracket RX2 because it's just going to make it easier. And I, I then pointed out that here in Australia, we say R, not out. We say our, our, like we have that nasal hour. So I know R and R are like, you know, the letter R and our as in like our house. They're kind of both R and R. So it's a little bit lost 
<laughs> in Australia. But there you go. Yes, thank you. And it did it did mean that uh, on the Creator Town Hall hobby, probably ranting this week about names because um, yeah, it's tricky. Names are tricky. Even with Righty Doki, uh, someone's already said, oh, I think Righty Doki should have an E before the first Y because it's more technically correct that way. Right, E, Doki, E. And I'm like, whatever. <laughs> uh, statistic, we saw you before. Where were you? There you are. I knew I saw you for a reason. Uh, let's play your tune that you have shared this week. Yes, we've got some statistic to share. Uh, and uh, statistic says, I don't usually get uh, political in my music. We don't get political around here very much, but 2020 and the antics and all the other things, uh, yeah, has raised some questions. So uh, we've thrown this song together. This uh, is called Where's the Future You Promised Us? Please start it at 1.35. And I will indeed start it at 1.35. And it is called, where are we? 135 is called In God We Trust, our friend Statistic, who will no doubt be rocking our socks clean off with this one, uh, In God We Trust. Statistic here on your music live. is that <laughs> it's nine inch nails it's tool it's rocking it's all over the place it's it's everything that i want in a song and more very cool very nicely done thank you for sharing just awesome stuff statistic never fails to impress and if you want to catch statistic and all the other artists we've shared you like that wolfstone studio song was amazing that night train 1988 song was amazing claret lake are really rocking noble savage had a really cool tune there jump down in the description you can check them all out down there and remember while you're down there hit the like button hit the share button send it to your auntie great aunt doris would love your music live just quietly i think doris is sitting there ready to rock out to statistic what do you reckon I reckon so. Uh, three more songs here that we're going to play. Uh, this one is from The Magic Sponge. Now, The Magic Sponge kind of took the show by storm last week, and I couldn't resist, even though it was only shared this week, I couldn't resist playing another tune here. And it's an interesting one. Um, and, and, yeah, it, I'm just going to let it play. It's going to speak for itself. And, uh, yeah, this is uh, this is says, produced by Dave Allen, The Magic Sponge. It's a tune called That's Just What Girls Do. And uh, we're going to give this one a spin here live on your music live. She loved to shop. She never stopped buying clothes, handbags, and too tight shoes. She drove me mad. She made me sad. But made me really happy too Ah, ooh, she said That's 
just what girls do Ah, ooh, she said That's just what girls do She tried to change me Rearrange me Then complained I wasn't the man I used to be She overcame me Tried to tame me Can you had much more chance with the sea When going out She was full of doubts Cast iron guarantee to make me late Everything she put on Was always wrong I got good at learning how to wait Now I uh, I was going to punish you all and play that as the last song, but I would put that earworm in your head because I listened to that last night. Uh, Jasmine was here helping me put together the songs. Uh, by the way, Jazz, if you and Charlotte want to come in here, we've got our finale. We've got one more song and then the last one, so you can make your way on in here. I'll, I'll, I'll message you in a sec as well while this second to last song's playing. But come on in uh, because we're playing a QB the Penguin uh, new tune coming up. But, but yeah, we were listening to it last night and that was in my head all night. Like, I was going to be, ah, ooh, that's just what girls do, right? All right. Uh, let's play this tune. Uh, this is going to be our second to last, our penultimate tune. And uh, <laughs> this is from Marshy Hammer. And it's called Time Is Running Out. Now, this is a collaboration song, and I thought I'd, I'd give this one a spin as our second-to-last song, because this is Martin Hammer, who you know we've played on this, ch- this show a lot, and Jerry Marsh. I'm not sure if we played Jerry before, but he's a member of the Garage Band Users, the Create Record Release group. And, uh, and <laughs> Martin says, uh, This is a collab song by Jerry Marsh and me. It's a song that Jerry has written. I play the instruments, and Jerry did most of the singing. We produced it together, and I did the mixing. So it is called Time Is Running Out. Out, and it is Marshy and Hammer live on your music live. Let's do it. Keep it moving, ignore your heartstrings, share and put yourself to the ground. Marshy and Hammer with their tune called Time is Running Out. And it's a very relevant one because time is running out. I've got a couple of helper monkeys here because uh, we're going we're gonna to try something experimental here. I'm going to turn on the speaker. The speaker, that's not going to work, is it? After I finish talking, I'm going to turn on the speaker and listen to this tune uh, so that the girls can hear it as well. I'll just have to uh, adjust the volume carefully. Thankfully, I've got my Personas speakers here. But the reason I wanted the uh, the kids here is that the last song we're going to play is one uh, from QB 
The Penguin. Do you like QB the Penguin, girls? Yeah. Yeah. QB's the bomb, isn't he? Makes some very cool tunes. I'm and QB. Who's QB? I oh, see. Charlotte hasn't watched enough Your Music Live. <laughs> QB the Penguin is one of our favourite penguins around here. And look what will happen, Charlotte, is the, uh, the, the chat will be filled with penguin emojis. Uh, don't let me down here, guys. The chat will be filled with penguin emojis because everyone loves... There you go. Tom's starting it off. Everyone loves the penguin. QB the Penguin. And uh, we're going to play this song. And I needed to get a couple of Among Us players in here because QB <laughs> has done When the Garage Band is Sus. And if any of you are Among Us players or you have kids that play the video game Among Us, it kind of hit the world by storm, what, a couple of months ago? Oh, does, it, does anyone still play it, guys? Is anyone uh, still playing Among Us? A few people? Yep, there you go. Bear has four daughters. You probably know the pain of uh, watching them cry when they're not sus. Or no, what are you, when you're not the imposter. Something like that. All right, we're going uh, to we're gonna turn this one up and uh, give it a spin here. This is going to take us out here. QB the Penguin and uh, when the Garage yeah, Band is sus. Yep, there's all the penguin emojis. You can see them. When Garage Band is sus. So let's uh, take a listen here. I'll, uh, I'll have it in the headphones and then I'll turn up the volume, hey girls, so you can have a listen as well. When the Garage Band is sus. QB the Penguin on your music live. the penguin with the Among Us theme there doing some great work there. Uh, that is going to do it. I have a I have an octopus on my head. Change the drum kit Oops, that your drummer will. Hang on, we've got Patrick talking at me over there. And, oh no, you can't, we're covering up the microphone. They won't hear my dulcet tones of what i got to say. <laughs> I don't have much left to say, except to say thank you everyone for being here today. Thank you for all of the support. Uh, we will be back. We've got the happy hour tomorrow. We're kicking off our round the world tour with Jasmine. That one has helped me set up here. So we're doing Australasia, all the best Australian New Zealand songs. Uh, I'm going to put a link actually after the show. If you're watching the replay, there'll be a link down there. You can vote on your favorite Australian and New Zealand songs and they'll be played. We then got Creator Town Hall special guest, John Kell from the Song Surfing Podcast and then Garage Band Weekly. We got a huge weekend. But for now, what you have to do is head over. Tom Rochelle, this guy here, is playing live. Thomas, if you could throw a link to your show. In fact, I got it right here. I got the show here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a link here. This is how I train, by the way. I, I train by having my children come in here and place things on my head. And if I can continue talking and not miss a beat while an octopus dangles from my head, I know that I've made it as a live presenter. Let's continue on here. Uh, there you go. There's the link. Oh, it's getting me in the face. It's, it, it's, uh, I like this octopus because you can make it. Oh, shad. Oh, and it goes away. Look, it disappears into the green screen. Goodbye. Uh, there you go. There's the link. You can jump over and catch Thomas Christ live right now. Uh, all I have to left to say is please be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, and uh, keep creating. I'll see you real soon. Bye for now. Say bye, girls. Bye, girls.